breaking news story tonight, the algae emergency. The city of Stewart declaring its own state of emergency following Governor Rick Scott's declaration yesterday. The mayor lists health and environmental impacts as well as economic losses for the declaration. It will remain in effect for seven days, but it can be extended. And just into our newsroom minutes ago, new test results show algae at the St. Lucie Lock and Dam tested 15 times higher than what's considered hazardous. This is brand new video of the algae from high above showing just how extensive the damage is with bright green seen for miles. And take a look at this. These are exclusive images from our Sky Team 12 drone. You can see the algae get progressively worse from week to week. CBS 12 is the one to turn to for the algae emergency from how it's now stopped a sacred tradition from taking place to the rain that could make the situation even worse. We begin with Treasure Coast reporter Aaron McPherson live in Jensen Beach with the baptisms now on hold. Aaron? Well, this historic church has been here since the early 1900s, and that's how long baptisms have been taking place just down this road at the Indian River Lagoon. But because of the algae problems, those baptisms are canceled indefinitely. The bells at Jensen Beach Christian Church have been ringing for more than 100 years, and the members have been baptized in the Indian River Lagoon since they opened in 1912. I could baptize anywhere, but we are, are had a tradition here. We were baptized in the river, and now we can no longer do that. Guy Calvert is the pastor at the church. He prays he can continue the century-long tradition. <coughs> But since algae from Lake Okeechobee flowed into the St. Lucie estuary... We had 10 baptisms. We had to cancel every one of them. Dean O'Neill was baptized in 2016 when the algal bloom was really bad. So he had to be baptized in a pool. But you're not getting the same feeling that I feel cheated. And to have that go into somebody's backyard... He says it's not only the baptisms. The congregation has dwindled. See, it's 75% of these people. Calvert wants to see the water from Lake Okeechobee go south to the Everglades. We just need to send it the way God sent it. So he can baptize people in the river all year round and not suffer trying to serve his community. Can't breathe down here. We're getting killed. They're killing us slowly. Guy Calvert is worried about the weeks to come and he's concerned how many more members he'll lose. Reporting live in Jensen Beach, Aaron McPherson, CBS 12 News. So how did we get to the point where algae is taking over? After heavy rains, the Army Corps of Engineers releases millions of gallons of water from Lake Okeechobee to relieve pressure on the dike. But that water is full of chemicals and nutrients from commercial agriculture runoff. When those nutrients bake in the summer sun, the algae population explodes. Part of the reason we're dealing with the algae now are wet and rainy spring and the very hot summer temperatures. Here's severe weather expert Jeff Berardelli now to explain. Jeff? Yeah, it was an extraordinarily wet May. You remember that, I am sure. And this year so far, we've had around 37 inches of rain. The average is around 28 inches of rain, so we're 8 to 9 inches above normal. Now that rain, a lot of it collects in the Kissimmee uh, watershed and it kind of percolates its way south. And it brings a lot of fertilizer, a lot of runoff into the lake. And so looking at a picture of the lake right now, anywhere you see the brightest colors, that's where, we, that's where we have the algae. And you can see basically the whole lake, with the exception of this area right there, is covered in algae, the worst of it right here in the western and uh, southern part of the lake. Again, a lot of that due to runoff because it was such a rainy spring. And then the sun comes out, the rain stops, and it just bakes in the sun, and it causes that algae to form. All right, we're going to switch topics and talk about the tropics. We have the remnants.